Hi, it's Chester Toggle at Blue PK Computer Training. And in this video, we're gonna look at the VBA to combine all the workbooks in a particular folder into a single workbook. So we have four workbooks, one for each quarter. If I open a workbook, let me show you uh, what that involves. You've basically got uh, three sheets in each workbook, one for each month of that quarter. So our combined workbook will eventually end up with 12 worksheets. So now I'm in a new workbook, the workbook that I want to combine all the files into. And what I've done is I've created a module and put started the sub procedure in that module. Uh, so not to bore you with writing all these variables, what I've done is declare three variables, one called path, and that basically is the path to uh, the folder that I've got on my desktop with my uh, four quarter workbooks. Then I need a variable for the file name, and I'm getting the file name using the DIR function within uh, VBA. And basically what that will do is it will return, in the first instance, the uh, file name of the uh, file in this path where I've set a condition of it being essentially um, any XLSX files. So you've got that little wildcard there basically. It says you can begin with anything it likes, but it must end with dot xlsx so if it had other files in that folder it would essentially ignore those so in the first instance what the this function will do is it will return the first uh, file name um, within that with that criteria there okay uh, when we loop through as we are going to do down here, I'll show you how to refer to the next file name. Then I've declared a third variable, WS as worksheet. That again is going to be for our looping that we're going to do later on. Now, I've also got these two lines of code. Uh, I've turned off screen updating. Um, also we're going to do a lot of copying of sheets into uh, our new workbook. Uh, if you don't turn it off, what you find that the kind of screen kind of uh, flashes on and off as it goes through each step of copying new sheets into your workbook, and that can slow down your, your macro. So I'll turn that off. So it'll appear as though nothing has happened until it's all happened. Also, there's a little dialog box that's going to appear towards the end of our macro where I want to delete the original sheet that's in the workbook. Whenever you create a new workbook, it says one sheet, doesn't it? Or maybe more. Well, in our instance, we've got uh, one sheet that appears in a new workbook. We want to delete that at the end of the macro. And I don't want the little dialog box that says, you know, you're going to permanently de delete this sheet. Are you sure you want to do it? So I've turned that off. And at the end of the looping, I've got to remember to turn it all back on if I'm going to uh, want to use Excel after my macro in the normal way. Okay, so that's the kind of preparatory work uh, for our macro. Uh, and so we'll then look at the little bit of code that's going to uh, achieve what we need to achieve. Okay, so I'm ready to write the code that will actually uh, do all the copying and moving files over. So I'm gonna start with uh, a do while loop. And what I want to do is basically run this code on every file in the specified folder. So I'm going to say do while the file name is not empty. And then I'm going to loop it. Now within this loop, I've got to go, I've got to basically first open up the workbook to begin with. So workbook, workbooks dot open using the open method there. And the workbook I'm going to open is uh, open path and file name. 
So essentially, uh, the path is getting from this variable here, and the file name is getting from uh, this variable here. So once I've opened the workbook, I've got to go through each sheet. So I say for each worksheet in uh, the active workbook, active workbook dot sheets, what I've got to do is copy the sheets. So I copy the sheet and I'm going to place it after the last worksheet that's currently in my workbook. So I'd say after. So I need to in some way count how many workbooks are currently in uh, my workbook. So I'd say this workbook dot worksheets. And then I could say to count it, I'd say this workbook dot worksheets dot count. Okay, and then I need to do that for every worksheet in the workbook, which is why it's in the for each next loop. Okay, then I need to close that workbook. So I say workbook, the particular workbook I'm working on, which is returned by the file name variable, dot close. That's workbooks. It's a collection of workbooks. I have to make it plural there. And then the clever bit. So I now need to assign to the file name variable the next file name within my folder, as in the, uh, the file name of the next workbook in my file name. So the DIR function is quite clever because if you just, if you state it again in your code with empty parentheses, it'll move on to the next file in that specified folder. So then I have finished my loop. Now there's one more thing I'm going to do, and that's delete the default worksheet that appears in the new workbook, just to tidy things up. And I've completed my task. Now we're ready to run it. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of move this up for you so I can get hold of it. So you can see exactly what's happening. So I'm going to press play. And you can see it's gone through and added all of those sheets from those different workbooks into a single consolidated workbook. Okay, so thanks very much for listening. Hopefully that's helpful. What I'll do is I'll put this code onto our website and leave you a little link in uh, below the video so you can pick up the code. Okay, thanks very much for listening.